Welcome to the Rush Archives. I'm Natalie Wheaton. I'm the archivist for Rush University Medical Center and for Rush University. I'm always really impressed by reading and learning about the historic women of Rush, whether they were nurses, doctors, whether they were technicians, but also the women who worked in housekeeping, the women who answered phones and worked in telecommunications with the old switchboards and things like that. And one of these women was Helena McMillan. We're very fortunate to have a portrait of her um, that used to hang in the nursing school. Presbyterian Hospital was established by Rush Medical College as its teaching hospital in 1883 here on our West Side campus. And then 20 years later, Helena McMillan here established the nursing school. And she led the nursing school from 1903 until 1938. She was very much involved in passing the Nurse Practice Act, which led to the registration of nurses. She was very interested in raising the standards of nursing practice and of nursing education in the state of Illinois. And that was one of the ways they helped raise those standards. <laughs> Dr. Isabella Erb joined Rush Medical College and Presbyterian, and she actually became the first woman to join the staff of Presbyterian Hospital. She also served on the Rush Medical College faculty, instructing students in the art of anesthesiology. She was the head of her department from 1907 until she retired in the early 1940s. She led an all-woman department for most of that time, and those women went on to other careers elsewhere as leaders in anesthesiology as well. Today, there are so many women making discoveries through research and saving lives, and it's really incredible to think of the women who opened those doors originally and led the way for everyone today. I'm happy to stand alongside them as part of Rush history and helping take care of that history and share it with others.